Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Two schools that in some ways carry a common heritage. Michigan State and Penn State in the battle for the land grant trophy. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. There's a cheesy bear. This irks me. Dirty bears, all right. The land grant Perfect. trophies up for grabs when these two teams <laughs> go to battle in this relatively young rivalry. Right name. Insert a lot of stuff. Dirty. Michigan Florida State dirty. has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Very subtle with it, too. So. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Play over the course of the game if we can figure it out. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Stop. Score two. Makes the grab and he's got the first. He's taken down at the 49. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From their own 49 yard line. First down. He tackles him hard at the 42. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Tackle at the 42-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Ooh. And Indy Lions always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19. He scrambled. Complete. He's got room. And he's tackled at the three. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. We keep your finger on the pulse of the top 10. The Wolverines have the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Wolverines on top by four. Midway through the fourth quarter. Dodds looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Check three, check three. 
Good outside run there. A nice first down run there. And first down, and I'll tell you what, the defense was sold on the pass there. Oh, man. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Star. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they he's make on the stand. Stop the 50. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. They stripped the ball right out of his hand. Well, he had better leverage there, and he just yanked the ball out. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. It was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Quick strike, and he drops it. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Penn State is up a score. What a catch. Brought down at the 26. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. First down. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98. He might not be able to get the pass off. Tackle made around the seven yard line. That's a good game of 19 yards. That makes it first and goal. Hoping to go up two touchdowns here. Jack, Jack, Jack. Pass right, running back's got it. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 52-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. it out that close to being intercepted excellent series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive they're gonna have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys win is the punter <laughs> tackle at the 49 yard line Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. 
It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From the 29-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry, and down he goes, right around the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. He's under some heat. He rolls out to the right. And he's sacked. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this third and very long. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Fires incomplete, knocked away. He recovered a little too quick. He punts this one high in the air. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Nittany Lions have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. There's a strike complete. He's out to the 30. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 30. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 30. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. to about the 35-yard line. Third and five coming up. Ball on their own 35. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. six-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 46. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That makes it second and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the catch and look out. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. That's a game of 21 on the way. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. He 
He's scrambling. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. Penn State's in front by 14. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's taken down at about the 13. Gain of seven yards. First down. From the 13 yard line, it's first down. Dumps it out left to the running back. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. And this play is number eight on the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Penn State! And he hits the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Iowa and Iowa State hook up in the battle for the Cyhawk Trophy. One word to describe this rivalry. Nasty. Dodds. Ready to kick. Clock's deep to return. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Murray gets the carry. He breaks a second tackle. Tackle around the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring you third and four. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Jones awaiting the return. They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Run right and hit the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down.
He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That brings up third and 12. First down grab by the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 50-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. They'll make the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback, just sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Easy, 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 easy. And he hits him hard at the 12 yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it third and 15. to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 29. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. That'll bring up fourth and one. Win to punt. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Jenkins' ability at that quarterback spot we all knew about that, Kirk, and we thought he was going to have a good game. He's not disappointing us at all. We're closing in on halftime, and right now he's having an effect on the entire game and especially on his team. Yeah, and Brad, he's really just sparked this entire offense, and, and I think his success has a lot to do with the momentum that this team's been able to enjoy. And this is exactly what the coaching staff had counted on, is his ability to lead this team and make plays like this to be able to lead them to a victory. It takes a special player to be able to do it, and so far we've seen that from him. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. They hand it off again. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. That's good for a game of 20 yards. First down. Run right side. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Carlson takes it left. 
Brought down at the 34 yard line. They don't have enough time to play dink and dunk Shoot, football. Face like mask. This. They need to move yes. the ball and do it quickly. She wearing a face mask. He might not be able to get the pass off. Strike to his receiver, no good. That brings us fourth and seven. Fourth down, they'll call on the field goal unit. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Iowa and Iowa State square off in the battle for the redesigned Cyhawk Trophy. Rivalry is the essence of the sport. And cutting the other guy's guts out, figuratively, of course, makes it all the more pleasurable. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Loss of two by the halfback. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. Penn State will take their first time out of the half. four-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The Nittany Lions call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Jones is back deep to return the punt. Tackle made at the 50. Still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three-play, 50-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, well, that was 31 easy. to nothing. They have <clears> enough <throat> to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. One yard gain by the halfback. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26 yard line. And that's it for the first half. And this game is getting ugly. 31 to nothing. Nittany Lions. Reese, David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. 
I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Here the defense is sitting in man-to-man -man coverage. The quarterback saw the receiver get a small opening, and he's able to deliver the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Big opening. Makes it out to about the 43. Someone drop a message. So the sack makes this a second and long. Here. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Drop a message. Drop a message. He throws left. That close to being intercepted. Cox was the intended target, and that will make it fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Win is the punter. Tackle at the 34. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Penn State up by a bunch. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. Little handoff, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. From the 33 yard line, first down. He's under pressure. Fires quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. And down he goes around the 22 yard line. First down. Penn State looking to add to this big lead here. Fires out to his wideout. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye to this guy. They love going to him down here. 
And he adds the extra point. So a six play, 67 yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And they can forget about returning this one. The Spartans are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. And he's set. And for Moss... He's now gotten to the quarterback twice. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That makes it third and long. complete and he's hit right away and that was a nice stretch for the D there yeah they really cranked it up a notch on that series Jones is back deep to return signals for a fair catch They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Second down and seven. Ball on the 36-yard line. Penn State with a commanding lead. They try the right side. And they make the stop at about the 35. Well, that's just a good call for the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. And they got the better of them that time. pressure he rolls left and he's taken down around the 43 yard line that's going to bring up fourth down just a great job by the defense these guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line Dodds is waiting for the snap he punts it away it's a high kick calls for the fair catch not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Quick pass, intercepted. Touchdown, Penn State. Yeah, it was that So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. The previous play is under review. After review of the play, the ruling, the ruling on the, on field, the field is reversed. reversed. So the call on the field will be reversed. Penn State in control. Down at the 18. 
Second and eight. Ball on the 18-yard line. Tackle at about the nine-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and goal. Makes it to the six yard line. Second down and goal. Ball on the six yard line. The Nittany Lions quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's the general of this offense, and they're really going to have to find a way to try to win this game without him. So we're headed to the fourth quarter, and I'd expect we're going to see some reserves get some playing time. Penn State leads 38 0. They get in, touchdown. <laughs> and he converts the extra point. Penn State's got some new faces on the roster that they're expecting some big things from, partner. And you know, that's what's great about college football. New faces every year, unexpected stars, and the newcomers that kind of splash out of the scene. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Penn State's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. Now you feel bad for this offense because they're clearly struggling, but they just haven't shown much at all. And he hits him hard at the 37. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. From the 48-yard line, first down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Side. Complete. It's the junior. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Just got drilled. 
The Nittany Lions came out from the opening kick, and they just imposed their will in this game. Just a complete effort. You can look at the numbers. You can see that the stats show the offense has put up the numbers. The defense has done their job. It's about as good as you could hope for. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 40. First down. From the 40-yard line, first down. Penn State with a big advantage. He makes his way to about the 28. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he tackles him hard at the 11. That's a game of eight on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. ten. Carlson gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He's taken down at the three. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this goal. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. It's second and 11. Ball on the 13. Penn State comes to the line in complete control in this game. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That'll bring up 39. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Just over two minutes in the game. And 
down he goes at the 17-yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. strike to the receiver and they make the stop right around the 12 yard line he fights forward to about the 10. down again. Fires quickly to the tight end. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Yo, what up? The tight end scored that time, and he's with authority. Wings. Brad is a physical football player, he's but he's also got the finesse to make a I big mean, impact bear. in the passing game. I mean, counter bear. I mean, running bear. Dirty bear. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Ducks were ranked 19th. Another W might have them moving up the charts with a bullet. They dominated this game on the scoreboard, in the running game, the passing game, on defense, on special teams. Other than that, it was pretty close. <laughs> what happened? The Ducks thrashed them. Uh, 25, and take big 20 minutes of. All right, Reese, back to our game. Possession to eight. Whatever you want to call it. It's crazy. At the end of the game, I finally saw it. And he's taken down at the 47 yard line. I don't think you can say much about playing you know, defense because neither team is. Well, down, it's fun to see this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's great to see the points and the offense. I wish we I'm could cool see if he makes runs this and everything. But if I see reach. cutbacks and counters and. You no. Know, Late in the fourth quarter, yeah, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already yeah. gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. <laughs> Under a minute left. <laughs> Caught, and he's hit immediately. You better not say anything. You'll run off and talk to him. <laughs> second down, eight to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. It's your guy. Makes it to the 42-yard line. <sighs> this monstrosity is finally over, though. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Penn State, 48. Michigan State, 14. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment uh, on the other. Five. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this loaded. date marked in red on their calendar yeah, for next year. He plays football like a real coach. Some of this. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Prime time. That's what happened last year. I get I got beat by him. One 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 one.
was looking to be in the national title. All I would have had to do is beat him in the SEC championship while well, losing like week 10 or 11 against Marshall, which screwed me. So I go into the SEC championship ranked like eighth. He was fourth. Then the one and two teams play each other. I ended up beating him. I can't remember who won between one and two, but they went to the national title. And then that number three team, UCF, who's in the SEC, that did play in the SEC championship, went to the national title instead of me jumping all the way up. So hopefully it goes like last year, except for me losing a game to a computer. Earn it, baby. Hopefully I get him in the SEC title game. Left out. Left out. Did we play him? Damn. I need mean, me personally. I need North Carolina to win out, but I don't, I don't know if he can be LSU. Maybe he can be LSU, but I need him to win out. To be the winner of the SEC, then. Say Michigan or Ohio State, but I forgot you're in there. I don't know. Michigan got the luck last year. He should have never been in the title game. We out.